du stage. <rire> Nico absolutely hates spicy food. So this is gonna be one of my favorite videos. I'm gonna do a couple of recipes, get my ingredients here at Landers, and then cook in the studio, and then just bring him to his level of hell. It's gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be such a fun episode because I just love torturing Nico. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the first recipe we're gonna do, very simple. It's a recipe that a lot of people have been asking me for. Um, I made a video for a boodle fight um, that you'll probably, I'll put it, I'll put it up now so you see what I'm talking about. Um, and I used this condiment that everyone loves, which is kind of like a, a garlic, chili, annatto oil that I use to cook absolutely everything. Um, and it's really simple to do a tuete or annatto seeds with some oil, bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna take it off the fire once it's boiling that color will infuse, you can then strain it. Um, and then in the food processor here, all we're gonna do is put some garlic and some chilies, which I'm gonna do um, in a bit. And then we're gonna add that to the oil and cook it down really slowly until everything is combined perfectly. As you can see, the oil is still nice and hot, so the garlic is cooking through. I don't want the garlic to get too crispy, so I might turn on the fire again, um, just to let it bubble slightly. Um, but what I'm looking for is nice tender pieces of garlic not like crunchy pieces of garlic. While that's bubbling away, very quick one. Using similar ingredients, that's why I'm not gonna wash this. Uh, <laughs> just because I'm lazy. Uh, but also because it's exactly the same ingredients. I mean, the, the, um, we're gonna add some garlic and some chilies as well. But this time we're gonna add some tomatoes and some onions to it. So it's similar to kind of like a, a red sambal. I recently went to Jakarta and they taught me how to make it and it's just delicious. So garlic, again, in the food processor. Chiles. If you don't want it to be too hot, you can actually remove the seeds, but since my whole goal today is to make Nico cry. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the seeds on. Goes in. Don't worry about the water and everything, because as we cook it down later, that water is just gonna evaporate. Oil in the pan, it's gonna be about one half cup in there. Same thing, put it in. And then we're gonna cook that really down slowly. What we're looking for is, you'll see as I mix it together here, everything looks kind of combined, but as things cook down, um, what you're looking for is for that oil to separate and for that oil to really rise up. So you're looking for like slight caramelization of the sambal. My garlic chili oil here, looks like it's good to go. So I'm gonna turn off the fire and just leave it there nice and hot. Next one I'll do is very simple, kind of like Chinese style chili sauce. So again, same thing, garlic, some red chilies with a little bit of salt. In a small little pan here, some sesame oil. I'm gonna very gently fry off the garlic and the chilies. All these chilies that I'm making today, you could traditionally make with a mortar and pestle if you want to. Add a little bit of sugar, some good quality soy sauce, some neutral oil like canola, and then if you have them, you can use Sichuan red chili flakes. I'm just gonna use some regular chili flakes here. So I'm gonna let that on low heat for about 10 minutes. You can see with the sambal, starting to really come together nicely and starting to release some oil, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna wait a little bit more until that oil starts floating up. Finally, the last one that we're gonna do is kind of like a salsa verde or a, like a hot green chili sauce. Um, really simple, one white onion. Put that in a pot here to which we're gonna add some long green chilies in the pot. Finally, green tomatoes into the pot. Cover it all up with some hot water. I'm gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Vegetables look like they're ready to go. Switch out the pan. Food processor 
back on. Place all of this drained inside here. If there's a little bit of water, not to worry, we're still gonna cook this out. So I wouldn't call any of this like really traditional because it's very hard to find the variety of chilies that you would need to make a traditional salsa verde or a sambal mera in the Philippines. We're limited to a couple of chilies only, um, so we're making do with what we have. So this way? Like this? The handle should be in front. Ah. Yeah. See, what would I do without these guys? Turn this on. Well, that's good. I'm gonna add in all my coriander. All that goes into our pan here. So we're gonna cook all this down on a low simmer for about 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all she wrote. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these off completely and separate them. So the first is the Chinese chili sauce. Look at that. That looks good, deep, dark color, exactly what we want. Next, we have our Indonesian style sambal. You'll see that it's totally changed color and that it's kind of floating in some oil, which is exactly what we wanted. Next, we've got our Filipino style anato chili garlic oil. And last but not least, our Mexican style inspired salsa verde. There you go, that looks festive. Arriba, arriba, okay. In the spirit of being extremely fair and being a good brother-in-law, I will try all of these first. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to make something that's like overly crazy spicy. It's edible, it's tasty, it's what it's supposed to be, right? It's chili sauce, it's supposed to be chili. Um, but I'm gonna try them just to make sure I didn't overdo any of them too much. Let's try, I, I feel like the most mild one would probably be the salsa verde, so. Hey, that's pretty tasty. There's some heat, but not like overpowering, not something that would smack you in the face. I like that. Like if I had tacos right now, Ooh. Next, Filipino style garlic chili oil. This one's nice and thick and look at that garlic. It's just all over the place. <coughs> Slightly more hot. This is a creeper. When you put it in your mouth, it really just tastes like garlic and chili. That's why it's a great oil to cook with, especially when you're trying to make chili sauce, I mean chili food or spicy food rather, but it disappears really quickly. So it's just kind of like that one, bam! And then you're all right. Next, the deep colored sambal. Oh, that one, that one just goes right in the nose. Woo! I mean, it reminds me of the sambals we had in Indonesia, which is a good thing. That one lingers, it stays. Last but not least, this one looks dangerous. This is just dark chili. That's the most flavorful. I think the soy sauce just ties that one up beautifully. What is happening in my mouth? That is, well that took a while to come up, but it came up, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna cover all these up, leave them behind me, and tomorrow is gonna be the best day of my life. So after all that cooking, I prepared for you, my friend Nico. I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna do this. Four delicious sauces. These guys saw exactly the amount of chilies that go on it and everything. I prepared a variety because I, that's how much I like you. And they're all delicious. I tried all of them, they all actually taste good. The whole point here was to make sauces that are really good for people who like spicy food, not just sauces that are spicy for the sake of being spicy. Okay, why don't you invite some, someone who likes spicy food, not like me, that I hate spicy food. I don't hate spicy food. I don't hate it, but I do don't like it a lot. Like almost hating it. Okay, where do you want to start? And then you use bolsico beef, so and you make bolsico yeah. beef flank steak right so here. So one of my favorite things in the world, one of the, my least favorite things in the world. Where do you want to start? I want to start because I think it looks the most, you know, friendly is the green one. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. No, don't, don't put too much also. No, it's a, it's a little bit. Mm. Nico. Bro, bro. These are not like hot sauces, they're spice chili sauces. This one's not too bad. This one's not spicy. Yeah, see, it's okay. It's just a little bit of heat. Mm. I told you, he didn't believe me. But it's not spicy. This is a, it has like some a heat. It has bit, a bit a of little, heat, yeah. Like now at the end of my throat, it's like, mmm. Because this is green chilies cooked down a little bit, so not too spicy. 
So these are the, these are softest. That's like a introduction to our sauces today. What that, do you want to try next? Indonesian. All right. This one on the other side looks a bit more spicy. It smells also really good. This I can do. I can do two of us. Just two of us. Pushing the limits a bit, but still tasty. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I it's okay. Think, yeah, you, yeah. you can you can eat it. Yeah, yeah. You can eat it. Okay. Next, which one are you gonna try? Let's go Chinese. Keep the the best for the last. Last for okay. the best. Huge. This I can smell the spice. You're like a kid, I have to make sure that you don't get your shit dirty. Watch your shirt. How was it? That's already too spicy for me. <coughs> That's already too spicy for me. Oh, it's like a ninja. It takes a bit of, <laughs> it takes a bit of time to... Woohoo! Woohoo! Wait, I need five minutes. No water. Uh, no water? No water. Eh? No water. No, boo. Eh? It's fine, it's fine. This is not the spiciest one. Yeah? So that, that was the spiciest? Yeah. This one? I think so. Okay. What is this? Uh, Filipino. Filipino garlic. Uh, with lots of chilies. Okay, a little bit of the oil. It's okay. It's okay, right? Yeah, but it's not spicy. Yeah. It's supposed to be super sort of spicy? I just want to know. I wanted to prove eh? to people that you, you, you can make spicy sauces that are not like killer, but these, these are good. These have lots of chilies. Okay, I want to repeat this. So, one of the key things is to make sure that you don't, when you're cooking it, you no, cook when, them down. I'm going right? to repeat the four of them, except for the except for Indonesian. These ones are, these three are good. To be honest, I have really low tolerance of spiciness, but here it's, it's perfect, actually. Mm -hmm. I was really worried about this video, but every time he makes me eat spicy stuff, I end up with a bad stomach because it's super spicy. Remember the noodle challenge? And then you gave me those snacks. But I care about you, see? No. You, can you feel the heat? Are you getting a little no, sweaty? I feel the heat, Yeah. I feel, but I am enjoying, for the first time, I'm enjoying the heat. So these two mm -hmm. have about 10 of these in there. Take a bite of this. No, no, no. no, no just no. take a bite of it. It's fine. You start. <laughs> ah, ah. It's not true you have 10 of those. It has 10 of those. I'm not kidding. This is the demon. This is. <laughs> oh. oh, we got him at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I knew it, you son of a. I knew it. <laughs>